They sound great. So when a song hits the world, it's out out in the wild and ready. People are ready to listen to. Rarely are they sitting in front of a stereo mix situation that is dialed in and they're sitting dead center and just with their eyes yeah. closed. <laughs> you know, maybe people in our industry that are listening do that, which is important because it's you know it's how you grow your business. But most people are doing emails, they're cooking dinner in the kitchen. So a lot of times when I'm working on a song and I just start to feel like it's close, I'll just put them real low on over there and uh, you know, I'll return some emails or mm -hmm. you know, do do any sort of admin stuff I have to do or I'll turn it really low and I'll go, <laughs> go start rolling putts back here. <laughs> uh, and it just allows you to experience it in a different way. And, and, and the philosophy of that is to be able to, in hopes, listen to it with a different perspective and less zoomed in and more Google Earth uh, approach of a song to see if it if it's resonating. And then it's just funny about these Dyn audios. At low level, I feel like most of the time if I have a client here, like they're sitting here right here, and to put these on right here, it's it gives us both the same perspective. I, although I love these Dutch and Dutch, like, and they're very dispersive and they sound great. Sometimes they don't give the best story of what the song's going on, uh, what's going on in the song if you're not dead center in mix position. Yeah. These are a little, seem a little bit more omni, if you will, and just a little bit more of an expression of the sound that like that we both can hear the same way. You know, when I grew up, started tracking in, in, in the Tri-State area and stuff, often I was <clears throat> at a Pro Tools, Pro Tools rig, you know, with the console facing me, and I'd be like making edits and doing stuff and the speakers would be to my right or my left, depending on the situation. Yeah. So there's also an aspect of me getting used to that. And there's a bit of a comfort to be able to just listen to music on those sides. Cause for so many years I was just tracking in those situations, making edits or doing whatever I had to do with the speakers to the right or left of me. So that's, that's probably a part of it too. Really cool. And it's, I think it, um, one of the cool things about this series and coming and seeing different people set up is, is it really, uh, gives permission to other people who are locked into this dogmatic rule set of it's got to be this way or that way and it's like no oh, man just throw them over here and yeah hit some putts walk around yeah like that's how you're you don't only listen to music right there in the middle it's very true